Cancer friends, welcome to your heart spread today for October. And we're using the Ethereal Visions Illuminated Tarot Deck. A little bit bigger. It's a little easier to see. Getting used to it. Kind of hard physically to handle, but I'm, I mean getting used to the characters. It's not uh, it's different. But this is uh, whoever's on, on your mind, whoever's in your heart. You don't have to necessarily be with them. Uh, you might uh, only be thinking of them. It's going to pick up who's on your mind. Be with someone A and thinking about someone B. And that's who's in your heart. Maybe pick that up too. No judgment. So don't be surprised. <laughs> I don't even think they, it could be passed on. You know, definitely love is what goes on. You feel thinking about them. Pick up on their energy. You can use this to find your angel. Uh, it's the first house. is the first card. That's you. And the second card, your seventh house. A relationship. We're looking at astrology. Should be two. And um, anima, animus projection in a love relationship. Uh, I use it to find um, ancestral angels. You know, I don't deal with the archangels. I don't got the clout yet for that. Apparently, that's okay. Get along with my grandma. Always here. Could be a single read too. If the second card, just look at that, intuit it if you want, work with me. And then uh, that becomes um, the person that's coming in, describes what's going to happen. In this case, we'll talk about it in the next week or in the month of October with this. This is a general read, so you could give it 30 days. Time is so weird. It doesn't exist over here on the other side where the cards are reading from. So, miracle they get anywhere here. Uh, one week what we're intending here this is for the month of October which by the way astrology wise should be a bang up month like literally like a, it's not a perfect analogy but like in the north where the rivers are frozen in the spring they start to break up and the ice just starts flowing and, you know I think all the energy is going to start flowing again thank god <laughs> add enough for retro energy queen of pentacles this is you showing up here uh, with the solid self, uh, mature self, uh, where you are in terms of love, relationship. You're somebody with good self-esteem. You know your worth. You're not going to sell yourself short. Already I could predict in terms of relationship, you're not going to be someone that's going to settle. You know, someone's going to tolerate any narcissistic, codependent, uh, low vibrational anything. Um, she's a very sweet, beautiful queen of pentacles. Male and female is not the point. Um, but someone that has a very, very comfortable in their own skin and someone solid can take care of themselves, could even take care of other people, might be a parent. Now your person's showing up with the Ace of Wands. Um, yeah, fire sign energy. So uh, this is a lot of fire coming at a Queen of Pentacles. Um, Ace of Wands is powerful. I mean, it's kind of a phallus. doesn't necessarily mean male or female, even though I say phallus. Uh, but it's that energy of like sexual attention, and I would definitely this uh, again this car this deck is is different, but you know this doesn't quite convey the uh, energy that the Ace of Wands contains of like coming at you. It's not quite like a, a you know Knight of Wands, um, but this is someone that is very pointedly uh, giving you their um, uh, affections. Um, um, directly you know uh, coming on to you directly you know maybe sending you flowers it could be even like that uh, but it's that kind of energy like they're all into you if this happened like let's say if you met at a bar and look look at how she's kind of looking down you were sitting there but you kind of glanced up maybe you held their eye just for a little bit a uh, second you know too long or a second long enough however you want to look at look at a second long enough and um, that gave them the idea that they need to come over and talk to you. So the point is they're approaching you. But some way, I mean, they would be coming to you. And obviously they're on your mind. Um, so, you know, it's all it takes. You know, we get ourselves in a little place. We said we're not ready, but then it start, we start to be ready. And we just keep eye contact. We're just a couple seconds longer than usual. And that gives someone, whereas, you know, a year before, we wouldn't. And that same person wouldn't even have thought to even talk to us. 
right? So, wow, now the chariot, okay, I'm kind of liking this. I mean, if you're responding to them, this is the energy of you responding to them, um, how you're feeling, where you're at, and, you know, this all feels cancer energy, yeah, but uh, emotional energy, um, moving towards them, wanting to be toward, and I see this as very high vibrational, especially with you coming in with the Queen of Pentacles, because I always see the chariot as aligning with the soul's purpose, soul's values, spiritual work, maybe it's because I have that kind of faith in my audience, and so even though this is coming in in this phallus way, fast and hard, pun intended, um, you nevertheless see something here in this person um, that's beyond just the physical, you know, you're a queen of pinnacles, I mean, it kind of much my ex-wife, I love her, uh, she's an amazing person, but she said one time, she said, oh Jesus, you know, you know, it's like, what's the big deal if a man comes on to you? It's like all the men come on to you, <laughs> Capricorn. <laughs> you could be kind of a little like that. So, you know, you're a mature person. You're not going to get your head turned because some guy comes up and says, oh, you're hot. No, but there's something about this person. Eh, something in your eyes. I'm guessing. I bet this was like at first sight. Like, they definitely caught your eye here, uh, Cancer. Ten of Swords. Now, this is how they're reacting to you. I think they come at you with this energy that's a, you know, because I read the second card and the first card as well is kind of where you're coming from in general, not necessarily in this relationship. And while you're coming in with Queen of Pentacles, very solid, very self-contained person, uh, your person over here, man or woman, could come be coming in with that playboy energy around them and on them. And they maybe thought that you were, uh, um, you know, um, another piece of fruit to pick off the tree for them. But now they're coming in with you. And I see this cherry. I can't read this as you not being interested. You have to be interested in them. So why are they in the Ten of Swords energy in relation to you? Because they were all kind of fired up into you. Let me look at the advice from Spirit for you. Seven of Cups. Give me a minute here. Now this is the advice for you in the relationship towards this person from Spirit. And this is their advice. Okay, now it's coming together. The Empress, for them, this is their advice from Spirit uh, towards you in the relationship. And um, so I think what's going on here, I don't think you understand this, what Spirit's trying to say. Uh, maybe this is egotistical, but I think this reading, if this is resonating with you, I think this reading is going to settle this. Honestly, that's what this could be saying. There's seven uh, cups. It's uh, emotionally, some turmoil not being certain, that kind of thing. Um, and it's like, um, because as their energy came towards you so strongly, and then this is like, I hate to go cliche, but it's like, you know, fold around and fell in love energy. So this person, I don't think they were in, uh, uh, expecting, I think you might have expected, like when you lock eyes with them, Cancer, comment, comments help the channel, by the way, thank you, like, subscribe, I do need all that a lot. Um, but tell me in the description there, tell me in a comment, if, if you didn't kind of immediately kind of feel like there's something with this person. And I think like immediately they didn't really, you were attracted to them. It may have been strong, very strong. Uh, but I'm not sure they felt it at this sort of higher level, like this might be a soulmate, this might be a real strong connection uh, for someone. And, and when they get to you, where he's in the Ten of Swords energy, is it's something in them just dies. And it's, it's all of this, you know, a lot of what's driving this is uh, all the way back to childhood, uh, need for attention. This, this person is not as sound and gro grounded as you, okay? <clears throat> that doesn't mean you're a bad person, doesn't mean you're not your person. No, no relationship's equal. Uh, but their journey, your journey has been a journey of uh, cancer of greater and greater stability to get to this Queen of Pentacles. It didn't happen overnight. Uh, have to be at least you know in your late 20s past your first Saturn return and worked a while to get to that place um, and they could have been really your person could have literally been spending their energy in this fire energy of having a really good time you know and now when they get to you it's kind of like the party's over and it's, I got the feeling when I saw this of uh, like uh, there was a controversy here in my apartment playing El Carmen our apartment and, and these left a mess upstairs. I heard them up there at night, you know, and I kind of get that feeling if you've ever had like a big party and you wake up in the morning with a hangover and like 
everyone's gone and you're there alone and then you got to clean up the mess it's like your karma but like literally and so it's kind of like that's what flashed into my head when i saw this it's like somebody like waking up and with a hangover and it's just an absolute mess from being this massive party the night before they get home now they're just groaning and they got to fix it and that's why if it, it and they may be in the energy you might have picked up on this might be why you're in seven cups kind of uncertain like what's going on? i thought i knew what was going on with them but i don't know they're acting kind of funny and i think the reason they're acting kind of funny is because they're and now i'm certain with this uh, as advice or spirit from them so spirit wants them to you know man up you know woman up um level up and become the empress and this to me indicates that you are their person um, because spirit says in this relationship my advice to you is that you can be the empress and that's beautiful that's all isn't that all kind of stability everything the opposite of what i said this is a little bit frivolous energy fifth house energy fun play nothing wrong with it it's just like different than the empress and who does the empress more fit well queen of pentacles you know, it's not male, female, whatever. It's like that energy matches really well. And you're already, so this implies to me too, that even spirit is encouraging them to level up, uh, you know, to hand up on the back, get a strong stance, ground themselves, uh, adult, mature, be mature, um, and very much get the feeling like, you know, there's indication that you're also, they're feeling like you're the one. But I think like, um, you're, first of all, you're grounded here, Cancer, so you're not losing yourself, you know, in this anyway. You like them, and you really turn on them, you might think they're the one with this cherry, I mean, pretty serious about it. Um, but I don't think, you know, uh, you're going to throw yourself off the bridge no matter what happens. But you just kind of don't know why they're acting funny. But they're acting funny, it's not that they're not into you, they're into you. It's like they're taking a minute, I don't know, energetically, they could be... They might be getting off of dating sites. They may be getting their clothes and stuff out of someone's apartment, male or female. You see what I'm saying? Because they're realizing that there's something real here. That's my sense of it, okay? Um, and also on the bottom of the deck, which I do now read in the heart spread, Ace of Pentacles. Very solid energy here. Very solid start, okay? Let's give this person a chance. Wow. <laughs> yeah, let's give them a chance. We've got the sun. And this is advice from Spirit for the relationship as a whole. The best card in the deck. Spirit is blessing this relationship. You were right with the chariot. You understood that there's an alignment here. Relationships are how our souls learn. And one of the ways, the main way I would say, we're human beings. We're in relationship always. Not just lovers, every way. And that's how we learn. And you kind of knew that. And Spirit's confirming that. Now, you've got the sun and the empress here. So this should be a lot of reassurance to you if you're kind of wondering what's going on with them. I would love it if you would send this video to them and say, uh, hi, uh, I don't know if they believe in it, but just a few minutes long, watch this and see what you think uh, of this reading, because uh, if it resonates with you, Cancer, and I just, I would love that, and I sometimes think it could help. And, it, you know, because it's just going to stir up a discussion. And even if they don't agree with parts of it, well, I don't know. But uh, that can only help, no? And the high priestess, wow. This is your outcome. This is kind of amazing. Remember, we got the ace of pentacles on the bottom of the deck. So, vice from spirit is the sun card. And the outcome of your heart spread is the high priestess. So, you know, make no mistake, you know, I'm a Sagittarius. You know, I spent time, you know, running around in life. You know, so a lot of people did. It's kind of what you're supposed to do when you're young, honestly. And it, I mean, you know, it's not written down, but there's nothing wrong with getting out there when you're young and dating and finding yourself and seeing what you like. I mean, I'm, you know, I locked it down at 19. I don't look at things as a mistake anymore. It's just the way it is, but there's nothing wrong with this energy. And so this person has learned a lot. You know, it's not like they're a low vibing person. This uh, spirit themselves says, look here, now you're the empress. Let's start acting like the empress that you are here. If anything, it seems like it could, you know, it'd be a the feminine energy over here, male or female someone that carries a lot of divine feminine energy i do um but with the high priestess as an outcome 
This is a very high vibing relationship, okay? One of those relationships where you feel like soulmates, you, you finish each other's sentences, you think of them and you get a text, they think of you and they get a text. And a very high, I would like to ask you, please comment. If you know a little bit about astrology, look at your composite chart and tell me if uh, your ascendant's not Pisces as a composite. Or maybe the moon is not in Pisces. Because I think this reads the composite chart. And you also have the sun here speaking to the composite chart. So, you know, it could be a sun sign is prominent as well. Uh, and I would look in your composite chart for that. But I don't know, it's not really necessary. There's nothing wrong here other than you just need this little reassurance about what's going on. And, you know, thoughts are communication, sort of communication and thoughts. So there's something you can communicate with them about, you know, because they may be having a little trouble with it, too. And maybe they feel like they can't really talk to you about it because it's it's their side of the street. And so you your decision, you could say, you know what, I, I care. Tell me what's going on. I want to hear about even if it's your side of the street, what's going on over there on your side of the street. And that, I think, will bring you guys together here, Cancer. But thank you. I hope you like that reading.